Welcome back, everyone, to more fun in Emacs, which is also what we're going to be having today. So in the recent video, I showed you my little function for creating files with uh, one of my favorite templates, which is my short story template, which brings in the necessary org file information that I need to take the org document and send it to um, a PDF with um, standard manuscript format and everything applied using the LaTeX exporter. And uh, someone left a good comment asking if um, the org capture system can do that instead. So instead of creating uh, the new file myself, uh, set up a, a capture template for it because that will create the, the file and the template. And I was thinking about that because as I understood, I wasn't sure if you could create a new file with org capture. I believed that you could you could capture new data into a node of a file so like hard coding a path to an existing file and setting up a node in it and from what i can see that seems to be correct so these are your different targets for for org capture but then it, it occurs to me that org roam is able to do that you're able to create new files with org roam and have a template attached to it so i thought well let's let's go through there at least uh, unless i'm wrong about the existing org capture i'm sure there's a way to do it i just haven't found it here in the in the documentation but as i said we can do it in org roam so so how do we do it just as a side note here since we're talking about creating short stories in emacs uh new on the Substack. I have a little article here about one of my favorite stories by the great Robert Block, which may be a fun read for you if you want to check it out. So you'll find a link to my Substack below in the description and back to the video. It's, it's pretty simple. Of course, you need to have your existing template as I've, as I've shown you all here. Here's my, here's my short story template. And uh, in order to get org Rome to create a, a nice file for us using the template, the easiest way, of course, you could uh, you could hard code it in your configuration file, but but I think an easier way would be to customize the variable for org capture templates just using the custom system. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, so customize variable is the is the function that we're going to use, and we want org roam capture templates. Now, the easy thing to do here is just to copy the default template, which is already in there, and bring it on to our own here. So you see, I've already gone through and created it. Basically, on the D key, we're going to have the, the default template now. Org Roam is basically going to prompt us for this now. So when we create a new node, it's going to ask us, do we want the D, the default uh, node template, or do we want S, you know, my, uh, my short story template? So all this is here is uh, the key is S. That's going to call up the template. The description is short story. The capture type is plain text. The file here is just the file path uh, for the template. That is the, uh, the short story template. And this will bring in the, uh, the timestamp and everything else. This was just copied over from the, from the default template above. And the option we have here is uh, to have this unnarrowed. So there, make, make sure... Make sure we save that. So basically, all we did was copy the default template and uh, change the location of the of where it's pulling the template. So now, when I create a new node for Org Roam, uh, let's actually first create a a master node that will that will hold the short stories so that I can keep track of them easily. So we use the default template for that. And uh, so now this can be a node containing a list. Let's say, you know, just to make things simple, uh, stories in progress. So now let's control C. I'm going to create a node for a story called a great new story, let's say. And now we're prompted here. So do S and there we are. So I can just go ahead and capture that if I want to keep working on, on something else. Um, and we can then uh, visit that node. And you see here, it, it brought in the title from the prompt. It's got an ID, all the other information, uh, export file name. That's going to go to the to the downloads directory or wherever I want to send that. And uh, so there, so I can just uh, start writing here, do whatever I want in this file. And that's actually a quick way of creating a new file. It's got a unique timestamp. Uh, Org Roam is handling everything on the back end. And... Uh, we can just have fun getting in there and start writing. Uh, so there you go. Uh, pretty easy. 
And if I want to use org roam for managing uh, stories as well, and given the, uh, the the fact that I can have this like this master node here so that I can just come here to see what's going on, uh, I think that would allow me to have org roam uh, manage all of these projects as well. So why not? I'm going to try it out and see. Well, so there you go, an org roam capture template. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'm going to leave it there. I'll talk to you all next time.